In the law, the prohibition against sexual practice, homosexual practice, was no different than the prohibition against eating shrimp. It was a specific ritual requirement for ancient Israel. Fact or fiction? I'm sure you've all heard that if you've had any dialogue about this issue. And it is fiction. You have come, I suspect, for the same reason I have. Because the stakes are very high. We are in the midst of a conversation in the church and in the larger society about who we lesbian and gay people are, what God thinks of us, and whether or not we should be safe and embraced and respected in our congregations and in our secular communities. Perhaps you have come because you are care passionately about the condition of my mortal soul or the soul of another person. What about the fact that Jesus reached out to the disenfranchised and the marginalized? Well, in doing so, he definitely rebukes a lot of our stiff religiosity. No question about it. A lot of us are afraid to get our hands dirty. But, but let's remember, when Jesus touched the leper, he didn't just touch him, he healed him. When Jesus hung out with the tax collectors and the prostitutes, and the tax collectors were notorious for fraud, he didn't encourage them to get more money through fraud and to be better and better prostitutes. He reached out to the disenfranchised and changed them. You can call it a transformational inclusion. That's the Jesus of the Gospels. 